Welcome, 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 guys. Thank you so much for joining us. In case you live under a rock and you don't know who the heck I am, my name is Heinze. We have, have a look at this dancing unit behind me. Have a look at this guy. Cubs Fan Han what? is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. What's welcome, up? Cubs. How are you, man? Good to have you here, buddy. That was a weird dance, dude. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I've seen it's, worse. It's a little... It's a little too late to be recording videos down under, I think. <laughs> I've seen worse <laughs> off camera. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Uh, it's crazy, man. Lots of love to... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Guys, if you're brand new to this channel, smash that red button. Super, super important to help us grow this insane channel. Now, we need to talk Galactic Legend Zeta priorities. Now, obviously, we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to have a chat to you uh, about our boy uh, Luke. Now, you're you're loving your your new boy, Blue Milk Luke. Are you not? He's amazing. Green milk, green milk, green Luke. milk. And yeah, yes, yeah. It's <laughs> isn't it green milk on uh, Arc Two? I think it big... is. Yeah, yeah, it is too. It's the green Dang. instead of the blue. I just I just say blue from the originals. I'm an I'm an OT kind of guy. He uh, likes all. He's he likes all flavors of milk. Uh, yeah, I'm look. I'm really liking him. I the only uh, hesitation I have is I'm not super comfortable facing a lot of raid teams with him. But there are uh, some shakeups you can do to be a little more comfortable against those teams that I've had success with. And so I'm a little bit back and forth. I'm really anxious to get his ultimate ability. I'm at four out of ten right now on that. So mm -hmm. uh, absolutely, that's good. Now uh, let's get down to it, man. Let's get down to the, the Zeta priorities. Mm. We're gonna have a chat yes. to you, obviously, about Luke, and then we're gonna have a chat to our okay. boy uh, Nemesis uh, straight after this uh, when it comes yeah. to Palpatine. So. He's unlocked yeah, both ne of them. Nemesis, you mean? It's called Sex Panther. Oh, that's by him. <laughs> it's illegal in nine countries. Yeah, it's a Sex Panther. Yeah, you know, Works seventy percent of the time. Every time. We know that movie. Yeah. One of my favorites. It's crazy. But let's let's yeah. uh, let's talk Luke's uh, Zeta's Zeta priority now. The, yes. the, the most important one that we've both decided. We've gone through the list, and and the most important one is of course the the leadership ability. Um, the yeah. Legend of the Jedi is the uh, Zeta we highly, highly recommend uh, with what that brings to the, the table overall, brother. Yeah, and uh, to, to me, honestly, with the way Luke's kit functions, a very close second there is probably going to be the Galactic Legend Zeta mm -hmm. uh, because with the way Luke's, he gets so many bonuses for his protection and you get max health and max protection 10% plus. Um, for each relic level, level, and so that's seventy percent for Luke. It's seventy percent for everyone, but seventy percent for Luke goes a very long way. And so, to me, that was one of the first ones that I thought was just really, really critical. I mean, a lot of these, I, I would say, probably the top four Zetas. There's a very thin line between. If you were to rank them one, two, three, four, very thin line, a bit of a drop off for five and six. But yeah, I, I'd put those two pretty close together. If you have only two Zetas to give, I'd probably go Leadership and Galactic Legend. Yeah, yeah, we had Galactic Legend number two on our list. We had Galactic yep. Legend number two on the list. So it's here nor there. They're the two that you want to focus on first, guys, because you know there's a lot of Zetas you need, and if you if you're lucky enough to hoard them yeah. all, then just drop them on and you're ready to go. But if if guys yeah. only have a few, because sometimes you need some of those Zetas to complete, you know, the missions. I mean, that, that's the thing. You you will need a few to drop on here and there uh, to get the job done. So yeah, number two, yep. Galactic Legend. Obviously, uh, across the board, the Galactic Legend Zeta for all of those characters. You know, the, the increases in stats and obviously, yeah, the buffs. They're just fantastic just to build them up and make them Luke might really be the tanky. one that benefits the most based on his kit. Yeah, you reckon? Dead set. Yep. Luke's the winner for that one for sure. Well, there you go. Straight up. Yep. So Galactic Legend is the second one you should be doing. Uh, Jedi yep. Legacy, I've got it number three. Uh, oh, Jedi yeah. Legacy is the one that I've got at number three. Uh, on the list there. Uh, a very, very, very solid Zeta, that particular one, man. Yeah, see, Jedi Legacy is going to give you that buff instantly. You can get these bonuses uh, by giving Luke the, uh, the the training, but this is just going to give him that right out the gate, and that's 100% mastery. Jedi yeah. Legacy is 100% mastery, ignores taunt during their turn, can't can't gain Jedi lessons, and so you're, you're not only going to give yourself that 100% uh, mastery, which ma mastery stats are pretty freaking OP, especially when you get up there at the Relic 7 level, it's also going to enable him to ignore taunt. And so ha having taunt ignore, man, man, that goes a long way for a lot of these characters. If you get Jedi Revan in there too, um, he's ignoring taunt. It's just really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, taunting sucks in, in Arena specifically. It's not much fun to be able to get around that. Uh, that is, yeah. That's just a fantastic Zeta to get. To get and I, really I found is. it essential yeah. for Ray, dude, because uh, you, you put uh, General Kenobi in a Ray team a lot mm. of times is yeah, what I'm do. seeing. Yeah. And uh, you, 
you can't get around that taunt and you cannot afford you know with a lot of taunters you could spend a little bit of time hitting the tank and working your way back to who you're targeting but against ray dude you cannot afford any diversions uh, no. with tanks on ray because she takes so long to get through and so i've just found with that taunt with that extra added added layer of security for ignoring taunt makes a huge difference absolutely absolutely man no I couldn't agree more yep. very i mean they're all great zaders i mean we need them all but we're talking the priority <laughs> if you don't have them all this is what yeah. you should be doing guys straight up uh yeah. the, the next one we've got is uh, number four on our list is they grow beyond the the they grow beyond zader is the next one on the list there now man explain to the guys out there how, how that one obviously is one that we'd have at number four on our list so, and this is where we disagree, actually, because to me, the more important Zeta um, at no the number four spot is Eflux, Ooh, in my opinion. I had that at five. Um, I had and, that at five. We, <laughs> we, we, can make, we can make a debate on this, but what uh, They Grow Beyond is going to do is that that's obviously the cooldown increase. Yeah. Cooldown increases go a very long way on your target ally, and Jedi Master Luke Skywalker gains advantage and crit damage up for two turns. Now, the advantage crit damage up is nice. Cooldown reduction is nice. But in my opinion... The turn meter control is king. Yep. And Eflux here is giving 10% more damage, removing an additional 5% turn meter for each ally with Jedi Lessons or Jedi Legacy. All Jedi allies gain 15% turn meter and critical hit immunity for one turn. So you avoid the crits, you get that turn meter gain, you get that turn meter reduction, and that's going to be how a lot of uh, Jedi Master Luke's are going to just start the battle with Eflux. So... My personal take is that's the better Zeta between the two. Obviously, you're going to want all of them at some point. Uh, but, if you know, obviously, they grow beyond cooldown reduction. Very nice, especially against certain teams. Yeah, no, nah, fair enough, man. Again, we had we had Flux. We had that at number five. So, again, four to five around that mark. We're on we're on the money there. But you're making me look silly, Cubs. That's nothing new. Uh, it's just another date at the office, man. Because yeah, you stuffed we up disagree. my list. We disagree. Here, here's how this works. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. I'm right. Oh, well, there you go. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> and, and the, and the, the good, I, I can see it both ways. And the good thing is he's so humble all at the same time. That's the best part. No, I love Listen, you, man. Listen, it is. It, I have to tell you, it's very hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. <laughs> just ask him. If you're not sure, feel free to ask. Anyway. Uh, very hard. Last one on our list of course man indomitable blast the basic uh yeah. again very very solid but in comparison to what the other ones bring to the table uh probably the last one on the list in in this particular case so and, and the redeeming quality of this though so that gives you the guaranteed crit right and mm -hmm. it's increased damage i'm trying to remember um if, if you could read that text yeah yeah yep uh, hang on one second let me just bring it up sorry hang on one sec i i, I, I got it i thought you had it up no so, sorry uh, can't right take here. me anywhere i've got it here I'll in a second good. this attack can't this can't, tackle critical it can't, can't be countered can't be countered so uh yeah so the critical hit the, the thing it's just luke is doing a lot of damage even without crits mm -hmm. and so it's it's not that you know this is why this is last place but the redeeming quality is you're going to do a lot of basic attacks with yeah. Luke, especially because there's a lot of assisting yeah. uh, with these teams. And so I think it's really nice to have. It's just, you know, all the other Zetas just have so much more utility. Yeah, yeah. When you've got others with turn meter gain or the extra mastery increases, stuff like that, it just makes more sense. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. You'll get it, but don't rush to get it. You'll be good without it. But yeah, last one on the yeah. list, definitely. But Cubs, man, magnificent mm. list. Thank you for making me look silly again. Wouldn't have it any other way, bruv. Thank you so much. Great to have you on. We're going to head over, have a chat to our boy Nemesis now, and finish this video right. off. Love you, Cubs. Thanks, bro. Mwah. Love See you, you H. Congrats on 1K. Thank you. Promise I wouldn't cry, but I did anyway. <laughs> See you, brother. Okay, guys, we're back. We're back with the second half of this video. We're actually now joined with our boy Nemesis. Welcome, Nemesis. How are you, brother? Good to have you here, man. Good. How are you doing today, honey? Having an absolute ball as always, buddy. Absolute ball as always. Now, uh, we need to have a chat, obviously, about our boy, Sith Eternal Palpatine. Now, obviously, we want to go through the Zetas. Now, you're, uh, you've done very well. Uh, man, you, you've welled harder. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you've actually unlocked both of these bad boys, Luke and Palpatine. Uh, are you you happy with what you've seen so far? Uh, actually, I am. Uh, I know there's been a little bit of um, disappointment so far with what uh, some people are seeing out of both of them, just in general. Um, but me, I'm actually really liking where they are and what they're doing. Um, I definitely think that the the way that they're working uh, will definitely sow a little bit of a 
uh, rock, paper, scissors kind of meta uh, with all four of our different Galactic Legends. Yeah, you, you think they got the balance right overall? Do you reckon the balance is right? Or, or do, do you think the new guys might get a slight touch-up slash tweak slash whatever they want to call it? Or, or do you think this is going to be pretty solid going forward? Um, I definitely think that there is a possibility that we could see a little bit of a touch-up on both of them. Um, as they come around, just as more counters and, and that type of thing comes up. Um, I mean, we definitely saw that with SLKR. Um, so I think that this is, it, it, it's definitely open for them to be making some, some touch-ups and, and little, little reworks on things here and there. Um, but I think overall, uh, we're, we're pretty much seeing the, the, final, the final versions. You know, you might get, like I said, those little touch-ups here and there, but I don't think overall it's going to be anything too massive of a change for them. Fair enough. And that's a good problem to have, isn't it? I mean, we don't really want a massive change, do we? I mean, we want a slight tweak here and there if it needs to be done, but um, they go into so much work, and, and obviously we, we like to think that they test them pretty well these days, so they should be reasonably solid. They should be around the mark these days when they release, especially such a big character like this, you reckon? Yeah, and I, and I think it's actually really good for the game um, if we do have some of these where... Uh, you know, like Luke is really tough to beat a Ray team, but really easy to beat Kylo. Um, I think for a, a balance perspective, I think it's really good that not one of them is is more dominant than the other. I mean, whenever we just had Ray and Kylo, um, Kylo was definitely the better of the two and that, you know, he could beat everything. Um, but I think now that we're, we have all four uh, and, and we kind of have the, the circular what beats what, um, I think that that's definitely going to create a much more balanced uh, game in general. I like it, man. I like it. That's nice. Look, let's get down to it. Let's get down to the Zetas. That's what we're here for. We brought you on, man, to talk Zetas. Now, obviously, you want to put them all on. <laughs> I mean, that's the plan of attack. But not everyone has all the Zetas ready to go, as we were discussing in our video earlier with Cubs. So the plan of attack was to go through and work out if you had two or three or four, not quite all of them yet, which priority you'd put them on. That's what we got you here for. So let's get to it and let's start off with the very first one uh, on our list is the Sith Eternal Zeta should be the first one you put on. Now, obviously, is the leader ability uh, bringing, obviously, the mastery and the potency and, and the speed boost. Uh, that's certainly the most logical Zeta to, to put on first on our boy Pelps, yeah? Yeah, I mean, with the... The stacking mastery at 10% for every time a link or deceived enemy uses an ability and five for all other Sith allies. Um, I mean, we saw how that stacking mastery worked for uh, Kylo. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that your Sith Eternal leader uh, Zeta is the first one that you're putting on. Yeah. Uh, nice. Very, very solid ability, man. I really like it. Now, let's move on to number two. And, and the next one is obviously one that is consistent across the board with all of these guys. The Galactic Legend Zeta, um, pretty damn solid with the max health and max protection, uh, with especially with the relic levels, man. But the damage decrease as well uh, that, that he gets hit by, that makes a big difference to these guys, doesn't it? It really does. Same with Luke, of course, as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it really speaks for itself. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're unlocking these Galactic Legends, you're going to want to try to get them up to Relic 7 as fast as possible just because they're the end-all, be-all for all characters. Um, so whenever you get them that Relic 7, that, that extra 70% max health and protection, um, that's huge whenever it comes to, to facing off, especially in, in matches against other Galactic Legends. No, absolutely, absolutely. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah, Galactic Legend across the board, with any of them, uh, certainly one that you want to put on reasonably quickly. Now, number three on our list, number three on our list was uh, So Discord. Now, So Discord... Uh, this is where you start spreading around all of that fun stuff, man. That that's where we start to get a bit serious, isn't it, with our uh, with the goodies and what it brings to the table, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like so Discord as a Zeta, um, just because one of the the big knocks for Palpatine is is survivability, um, and that's the reason why you know CG recommended him to be run with a lot of different tanks. Um, so by doing this so Discord, you're passing disease, uh, deceived around to the enemy. And it's that deceived uh, debuff that makes it so that you can't target Palpatine. Um, so you really want to make sure that you're keeping him upright as long as physically possible. And so Discord is definitely one of the best ways to do it. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there, Nem, that's looking at my screen right now and going, holy crap, 
He's only got three Zeta mats on him. I know. I'm aware, guys. I'm in the same position right now. Uh, I personally thought that we were going to have at least another month or so, uh, maybe a bit longer before we actually got these guys. So I had to put uh, Zetas on a few others in the lead up to this. So yes, my Zeta can is low. So before you say anything in the comments, I know. All right, I know. Anyway, let's move through to the next one. Uh, so be it. Jedi is number four on our list. Now, uh, protection recovery. Enough said. <laughs> it's as simple yeah, as that. I mean, exactly. It, it's keeping them upright. And uh, anytime, uh, what is it? The deal special damage to target enemy and call all other dark side allies to assist. Uh, dark side allies recover 50% protection. I mean, that is massive, especially whenever, um, you know, they're recommending a lot of tanks. You can really beef them up, and a 50% protection re uh, regen is just huge. Mm, it is. It is. Uh, it's all about survivability with this team for him to get his ultimate up and running. I mean, that that's what it's really all exactly. about, isn't it? So any way that you can boost your protection to make sure that they last until he comes out of that harness... Uh, it's certainly a damn fine Zeta right there. Highly, highly recommend that one for sure. Let's get down now to uh, to uh, number five on our list. Number five on our list was So Be It Jedi. No, we just did that one, didn't we? Oh, my goodness. Unravel Destiny we was did. next on our list. Oh, God, I'm all over the place. Never mind me. Okay, Unravel <laughs> Destiny was next on our list. Can't take me anywhere, Nim. You're not really surprised. You've known me long enough. That's just how I roll, <laughs> right? Seriously. Okay, Unravel Destiny was next. Uh, man, there's taunting tanks on this lineup. You need them. Uh, to gain the, yeah, uh, the taunt uh, for two turns, it just makes yeah. sense. It's a good Zeta. And as we said with So Be A Jedi, it's all about survivability. Um, and if you're able to, to cause all your tanks to taunt for two turns, um, it's really going to be able to add to protecting Palpatine. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. You can't get to him. And if you chuck, obviously, the taunts around, you just can't hit him. He's going to last longer. Because when he hits his ultimate, man... It's, it's game over, isn't it? It really is. Um, he right. just goes berserk from that point on. Our very, very last Zeta on the list, of course, is the basic Deception. Um, again, it's just uh, the Deceived and increased to three turns if, if you go up against Jedi's slash Luke. Um, let's be honest. Uh, anyone else like that or, or a JKR team, uh, a Revan team. But uh, again, last on our list, but still a damn fine solid Zeta, but just not quite up to the same level as the other ones before it yeah yeah and i i feel that way just because if you're adding all of the other zetas on before um you should still be passing around a good bit of deceive um so while it is nice that you're increasing the two for light side and three for any jedi um if if you're you're trying to spread around your damage a little bit while you're doing it um you know you'll you'll keep adding deceive to your to the lowest uh health enemy so uh, while it's nice, I don't think it's the most necessary out of the set. There you go. Enough said. So there's your list, guys. There's your list. So we've got Sith Eternal, Galactic Legend, then So Discord, So Bet Jedi, uh, the uh, Deceive one, I'm sorry, uh, Unravel Destiny, and then Deception to finish it off. So that's our top six. Now, I'm going to hit you with a big question then that I'm sure a lot of other people are going to ask. If, obviously, for those that don't know, as we mentioned earlier on, our boy Nemesis does have both pal uh, palps and also you have luke as well now if you could wind the clock back six to eight weeks ago when these guys were announced which one would you have focused on first as priority which one would you go okay this is definitely the one to go for out of the two Wh which one would be your choice if you only pick one uh well it's a good question and i think some of it is the caveat of did I have either of the first two Galactic Legends? Mm. Um, you know, if I, because the the ability for Luke to just clear through an a Ray or a Kylo team, and with how much Kylo is, it was the meta out of those first two, um, me personally, I probably would still stick with Luke as being my first. There you go. I think that especially once he gets that ultimate on him. Wow, and, and that hundred percent mastery that's going to be given out with that that ultimate, it's it's going to be real dangerous. Nice, nice. Well, there you go. Luke's the one to go for, guys. Out of the two first as priority, uh, but but Pelps is still pretty solid. Um, you know, uh, if if he had a close second, man, he's still a lot of fun, isn't he? He really is. 
Oh yeah, he he's absolutely no slouch. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It's great. And now now my question as well, I'm also gonna ask. Nem, are you gonna be one of those guys who puts all four on defense? Or are you you hanging on to some for for offense, man? Where where are you going with these guys? Because you got all four locked and loaded. Uh what what what's your thinking in the back of your mind? Are you gonna lay them all out and see if they can break through, or where are you gonna go with this? Uh no, actually what I'm I'm trying to do is uh do a little bit more of a, a research based thing. Um, so if my opponent only has three of them, um, I'll only put out one, maybe two. Um, if they have all four, I'll probably put out two and, uh, just try to kind of, kind of base it off of, uh, however my opponent is, but most likely I will not be putting out all four. There you go. There you go, man. No, thanks very much. That's been great. It's been a really cool insight for someone that has both of them. I mean, you know, not everyone obviously is, is going to have. I mean, a lot of them aren't going to have one of them, let alone both of them, for quite some time. So I'm sure it's good, a good eye-opener for others just to get, you know, an insider's take on someone that has both and, and get that side of it. So, Nam, uh, dude, it's, it's been a, a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us on this video, bud. It's, it's been wonderful, and, and we'd love to have a chat at some point again in future, given the option. It'd be great. You're welcome. I, I love being here. I'm willing to come back whenever you want man sounds like a damn fine deal to me thank you so much for joining us guys on this video uh again if you haven't already smash that red button please helps us grow this channel super super important to uh to help grow this channel uh again join us on twitch anytime not hard to find heinzy anzgc uh obviously on youtube you'll find us here as well uh we'll be doing videos rogue actions of course we'll be doing that every monday morning u.s time uh join us for the grizzly sessions guys friday evenings u.s time saturday afternoon australia time they're pretty wild as well so we'll see you on the next video guys take care in the meantime we'll see you soon